Eric Braden, like we always know, speaks his mind out and loud and we love him for that. Recently, he took to X, formerly known as Twitter, to rant about the current political situation, and you need to see it. Stick around to know more. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. If we look at Victor Newman from Young and the Restless, and the legend portraying it, Eric Braden, they are a lot similar but in the best way possible. Both are strong and fearless, no matter what. Braden isn't shy when it comes to sharing his thoughts, and we have seen him do that for years. Just like his on-screen alter ego, he's not one to mince words. Braden's social media is a roller coaster of opinions, experiences, and political takes. And let's just say, he's not exactly a card-carrying member of the Trump fan club. In an interview with the Daily Beast's Tim T-Man back in 2017, Braden didn't hold back, calling out Trump's ideas as something out of a fascist playbook. According to him, simplifying complex problems is just the essence of fascism, and he wasn't having it. The actor took a swing at Trump's economic game plan too, calling it nothing more than a fancy way of saying rich folks get richer. On X, he even described Trump as insensitive and ignorant, specifically in relation to the politician's remarks about former President George W. Bush. Over with the Make America Great Again slogan, well, Braden's not having it either. According to him, America is already great. This clown says he is going to make America great again, America is great, I'm an immigrant, I know, it has its faults, but who doesn't? It's always trying to renew itself, look at what comes out of California, it's one of the most productive states in the world, he said. But it's not just about dissing Trump, Braden is Team Obama and Team Clinton all the way. He called the Obamas two of the most scandal-free, decent, intelligent people ever to occupy the White House. And he didn't stop there. He even threw some shade at Trump supporters for vilifying the Obamas. When Trump held up that Bible in 2020, Braden took to his X handle to deliver a punchline. Trump with a Bible? Give me a break. Talk about utter hypocrisy. Yes, Braden just said that in all caps. He's not just calling out the Bible stunt, he's been on Trump's case about the Muslim ban, pointing out the selective inclusion of Saudi Arabians because of, you know, the deals. Like his rants weren't enough, he even put a little young and the restless context in it. He drew a comparison between Victor Newman and Trump, and said that he sees a bit of Victor in Trump, both wielding power, both maybe abusing it a bit. I can imagine Donald Trump firing up the Trump jet, just like Victor would, to take his date to Paris, he said. Braden leans liberal, and he's not shy about it. His childhood memories of World War II in Germany have him seeing through the misuse of power, and he's got a presidential wish list that includes boosting Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid, and pumping cash into infrastructure rather than rich pockets. Sure, not all his fans might be on board with his political playlist, but they respect him for keeping it real. Recently, he even called out some TV personalities for being double-faced. He wrote, all these types who used to call Trump all kinds of pejorative things and were mostly right about it, are now falling in line, Ted Cruz, Rubio, Lindsey Graham, etc. And these types are making decisions for all of us? Talk about a party of utter hypocrites. He's also got a bone to pick with media mogul Rupert Murdoch, accusing him of paving the way for Trump to become president. Amidst outpouring his opinions on Trump, Braden also vocalized his support for Ukraine. We need to support Ukraine ASAP. If we abandon Ukraine, Russia will be encouraged to start invading neighboring countries. And that means Europe and America will become involved in a devastating war against Russia. And that I don't wish on anyone. He wrote on X. So, we've been there to see all of Braden's thoughts, and since we wanted to see your opinion on Trump as well, we took to our community post to find out if you also think that Trump is a clown. And from the looks of it, most of you agree with Braden on this. One of you wrote, on point, while another said, I concur. So, what are your thoughts on Braden being vocal about his political views? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.